we will now have a closer look at the query algorithm. So we have a point set S, we have partitioned it into triangles, we have our query range, and we have the partition tree for S. What steps do we have to do now? We have to find out which nodes shall be selected, so which triangles lie completely inside the query range, and we have to find out which nodes are to be visited, so those that where we recursively have to go into the subtrees. So we get the following algorithm. We have a recursive algorithm select in half plane, where we have this half plane H, the partition tree T, and the points at S. And in N, we want to store all the selected nodes in every step of the recursion. And that's also what we want to return in the end. We want to return these canonical subsets N, such that the intersection of the half plane with the point set is exactly the union of the points in these selected nodes. So, what do we have to do? If we are at a leaf, we only have exactly one node left, then we just check, does it lie in the half plane? If yes, we add it to the set n. Otherwise, we are in the situation here. And we look at each of the children of the current node. And for each of them, we figure out, does it completely lie inside the half plane? If yes, then we have to select it, so we add it to the set n. Otherwise, does it not lie in the half plane at all, like t5 here, then we don't have to do anything. Otherwise, if it lies completely outside the half plane, like t5 here, then we don't have to do anything. But if it partially lies inside, like t3, t4, and t6, then we have to recursively call the algorithm. So we take the set n and we add all those canonical subsets that we find in the recursive approach. And then if we return all these n's, then we can report the points that we found that lie inside the half plane. But now we only want to count. So we don't want this additive factor of the number of points that we report. So we want to turn this into a range counting query algorithm. Can you do that? So instead of select, we want to do count and half plane. And instead of having all these selected nodes, we want, just want to find out how many there are. So in the beginning, our n is the number of selected nodes with a zero. And in every step where we add something to the set, we just want to add the number of nodes. So here, instead of adding the node, we just add a one. Here, instead of adding the node, we add the number of points that lie inside the canonical subset of this node. And here, instead of adding all these, we just add the number. And then, of course, the condition we have to change, now only the number of points has to be correct. We don't have to have exactly the correct points in here. And that's the whole algorithm. That's how we can count how many points lie in a half plane. But the crucial part is, why is this fast? And we want to analyze the running time of the query algorithm in the next part.